Hi, welcome. My name is Diana Del Monte. This is O. Henry. And um, for those of you who aren't familiar with my work, I'm an animal communicator. I've been communicating with animals for about 20 years, over I think over 20 years, and I've been teaching animal communication probably maybe 10 or 12 years, maybe longer. So I specialize in behavior problems and locating lost animals. I also work with animals and spirit. I do healing work. I do psychic body scans. I'm a kundalini yoga teacher and author of two books and an oracle deck. The animal communicators actually have a dialogue with the animal. For example, uh, working with lost animals, I had a cat once who was showing me the river and the dog in the backyard and a lot of detail. She described the home and I, I do dowsing, uh, I work with the pendulum. So with my, do with my pendulum, I had gotten northeast a couple homes away, but the person didn't find her cat. Well, long story short, because the house description was a match, she went there one more time in the basement and her cat finally made a sound. She'd been there th three weeks, didn't answer her the first two times. So the cat had been trapped inside the basement, not outdoors, but in the basement there was a window and the cat was looking out the window and describing what she saw. So this can happen sometimes when you're getting the information from the animal, from their perspective, you see what they see. We're actually seeing from the animal's eyes and or having a dialogue with them. So in this introduction, we're gonna cover the basics of animal communication, the foundation, the groundwork, Animal communication is simply a process of becoming more aware of the abilities that you naturally have. So in module one, you'll learn what animal communication is, how it's done, why and how it's possible, why you have the abilities, and what those abilities are. We'll learn how animals communicate. In module two, we'll look at the four clairs, clairvoyance, Claire audience, Claire sentience, and Claire cognizance punches when you just know something and you don't question it. So we're going to look at these four clairs and understand how we use them in our everyday interactions with one another and how we use the four clairs to communicate with animals. In module three, we'll learn how to send thoughts to animals. Animals think in pictures. In Module 4, we'll learn how to receive information from animals. In Module 5, we'll learn how to find our still point, the point where animals are at, the, the same frequency, the calmness, the present awareness. I'll take you through a guided meditation. We'll learn how to psychically connect with our animal. And lastly, we'll go over five ways in which to listen to animals. This introduction will give you the foundation of animal communication, but it does not give you practice, partner practice. So if you want to get your feet wet, we'll do exercises with one another and try it out with animals. With the introduction, I almost forgot to mention, you also get my ebook, Psychic Communication with Animals, The Essential Handbook, and also two MP3 recordings, Meditation for Presence, and Meditation for Connection. So I hope you enjoy the series, and if you have any questions, you can email me, or just go to my website, and you can contact me through there. So, bye-bye, and I hope to see you soon.